There were several scenes with the message in it. Two of them were very prominent, but I still wasn't too sure. I'll play the second one at regular speed. Yeah. Monkeys. And freeze. Okay, there you go. There's the message. I wasn't too sure exactly what it said, so I cross-referenced it with the behind-the-scenes footage, and the message still wasn't too clear. And I froze on this message. One. Send help. I'm in the wrong century. But I still wasn't too sure. So I cross-referenced it with the Alpha Wave Dream Files. And sure enough, there's Sir. And he had mentioned it. So the message did get through. And very nice touch with the t-shirts that said, send help, I'm in the wrong century. Very, very nice touch. <laughs> Thanks. Good to see you still have a sense of humor. It's still there. I'm just glad it worked, though. I hope everything's, I hope everything's, going, hope everything's well. going well. Getting everything is getting everything in place. Please. So which came first, the Pranky or the Awakening? And that question is answered by those replicas in the room. So what? He had a nostalgic dream and decided to make a movie about it? Apparently, because he even got a lot of the details of the ships right. Like the Northern Star. I mean, everyone on the planet has flown on that at least once. I know. I've been on it twice. Once to the other side of the galaxy. You know, he even got actors that look like the real command crew. Let me see. Uh, Plus has only loaded a couple of shots from a behind-the-scenes documentary. Apparently, the actual film itself is not downloaded into the program. Why? Has it been classified? Actually, in a way, it has. Apparently, within the movie, the command codes that they use in there are actual command codes, which I'm sure are changed by now. But there's also the location of a specific race that has a technology that everybody wants to get a hold of. So this film, for now, has been classified. Hmm. Well, you're right about a lot of these actors looking like the actual command crew. Even some of the technology is the same. Right down to the muscle leader uniforms they're wearing. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. There's Merck in New York, Carmen Wedley, Ken Nosmo, Lorge, and Commander Fadawee. They're all there. Huh, that's amazing. And it's all just a future memory of that Frankie. Oh yeah, and here's the only hint that Platts is giving anybody about that hidden species. This is a bit of the Xenos planet they're from, and this is kind of what they look like. Not those two in the, those two prototypes back there. But, but where exactly right is the planet? One of them. We're not sure exactly who he is, but we do know that he's one of those ones that everyone is looking for. Okay, so this white bear guy knows about future things. No. Just in case, Mr. Platypus is trying anything, I am setting up a couple roadblocks for him. This should help give my pricky hunters a little head start. Okay, Platts, all the power to you. But before we get to those, I just read a couple of signals here. Looks like there's a couple of those Xenos creatures around. Why don't you take a look around the room, see if you can spot any of those seekers. I'll do my best to see if I can track them down from uh, my end. Xenos creature? Seekers, you mean those flying wormy things with the wavy wings? Aren't they just a myth? Well, in the century you're standing in, there wasn't much photographic evidence of them, and very few people actually believed in them, but Platts apparently has captured one, kind of a trans-dimensional creature. So I think he's using their substance to, uh... To create his parallel dimension device. Exactly. And if these readings are right, there should be two of them in the room somewhere. Now, to disrupt another 1,000 years of tasteless human history.